All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to change a light bulb. If you see, this light bulb is not on, but that light bulb is on. All right, it seems pretty, pretty basic, but I know there are people that are wondering how to get a light bulb out of one of these lanterns. So come a little closer with the uh, camera, if you will. And if you notice, there's a couple of nuts. There's one here, and you'll find one on the other side. Now, depending on the actual lantern, you might have more than that. You might have four of them. You might have, you know, two, and then one here and one here. But either way, you're going to have to loosen these nuts to take this bottom part down. All right, now, one thing you might want to be aware of, sometimes these nuts, depending on how long these lanterns have been up here, they can get frozen or rusted down. So you got to be careful. If you try to loosen them, you can break them. All right, so if that's the case, if you try to loosen it by hand and it doesn't work, you put a pair of pliers on it and it doesn't work, I would say spray it down with some WD-40. Let it sit for, for you know, 15, 20 minutes. Let it penetrate. <clears throat> and then hopefully it'll break loose. If it doesn't break loose, then you have another problem in your, on your hands, which is not as easy as changing a light bulb. But anyway, so what you want to do is you want to hold the bottom here like this. And remember, when you loosen something, it's lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. So you're going to turn this counterclockwise, this nut here. And, uh-oh, it looks like we have a loose connection, if anything. So let's see if we can fix this either way. All right, so... I got that. Make sure you keep these and you don't drop them. <coughs> Alright, so I was going to change the bowl, but it looks like it's just maybe a loose connection in here. And that happens sometimes, so I'll bring that down very carefully. We're going to place this on the ground in a place where you're not going to step on it or drop it or break it. Because it's made out of glass. Don't move. Okay, and now. We're going to get our hands on the bulb, and we're going to see what's going on here. You know, it's corroded. it might be that the bulb itself is bad. It might be the socket's bad. So what we're going to do, try a new bulb. we're going to try a new bulb, but these, spy, these, these fluorescent bulbs, you can't shake them around, rattle them, and hear anything in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another bulb which I'm hoping is, is uh, a good bulb. It actually is a used bulb from a different part of my house, but it was working when I took it out. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to screw it in, and look at that. It comes on nicely. So it looks like the bulb that I took out, you see how I tightened it? It was still not working, but I unscrewed it. We're going to throw that one away. I put a new bulb in. Remember, when you tighten something, it's righty-tighty. So you screw the bulb in to the right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take the lantern part and just to be, you know, just to do things the right way, if there's any dirt, bugs or anything here, you want to wipe it out. In this case, it's not so terrible. It's actually a pretty good shape. So we're going to take this thing. We're going to line it up. Make sure these little studs, see these little studs right here, they go back into the proper holes. And you're going to get your nuts. And, by the way, with the nuts, there's a little, a little rubber washer. Are you showing the nuts again? All right. See that? There's a little rubber washer also. And the rubber washer is important. So let's go ahead and, and get to work here. This is pretty simple, and we just fixed this light. You don't have to call an electrician every time you want something very simple done around your house. Now, some people will do that, and to call an electrician out to change a light bulb, it could cost you... 80 or 100 bucks for something that you can do in basically three minutes with a little bit of basic uh, know-how. And these are things that every person should know how to do to change a light bulb. Although I know there are plenty of people I know personally that have no idea how to change a light bulb. As crazy as that sounds, it is true. I have a friend that can't tell you the difference between a Phillips and a regular slotted straight screwdriver. That's for the next episode. But that's for the next episode. All right, so we're gonna tighten those things up. Remember, when you tighten these things, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, so we're gonna screw those things back tight again. There's no reason to make it too tight. Um, 
eventually you might actually have to change the bulb again or fix it and uh, see it's working now so we're going to show you this we're also going to show you the other one we're going to back up we're going to show you the entire job it's pretty simple and i hope you enjoyed the video it's very basic home maintenance 101 have a great day